Today on Into Life, we are back with our vlogger Ande to talk about the Telos, the Argentina sex hotels. They are extremely popular among the Buenos Aires youth, right, Ande? That's true. A tello is a play on words. Uh, it's a play on words of the words hotel. They are sex hotels that are rented for two to three hours. There's about a hundred. Uh, 180 of these hotels in Buenos Aires with 5,000 rooms and 3 million customers only in Buenos Aires, so they're quite popular. Wow, that's impressive. And what is the difference between Telos and, let's say, the sex hotels in Asia? Well, here they're really a middle-class phenomenon. As I understand it, in Asia, you know, they mostly appeal to uh, professional sex workers and their clients. But here, you know, um, a lot of young people live with their parents and they don't really have anywhere to have sex. So they go to these mm -hmm. hotels, uh, which they can rent for two to three hours and um, have a little rendezvous. Um, <laughs> and it's great because in the U.S., you know, a lot of kids have sex in cars or in strange places, but it is actually, you know, quite safe. They're clean and condoms are provided uh, for every client. Argentina has one of the most progressive and liberal legislations of the world when it comes to LGBTs. Um, does that influence the, uh, the, the hotels? That's true. Buenos Aires is a major gay tourism capital here in South America. And yes, uh, gay couples and transgen transgendered folks are allowed to use the hotels and by law they're required entrance. Okay, well, thank you for sharing your story. And if you want to uh, read more about these tellos and their myths, please go to wonder-argentina.com or to interconnection.com. Ciao. Bye-bye.